guys. So of course we're back to of course with another really quick of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Oh, take a moment, just game though. All right, guys. So of course, I I can't. My intro, I missed my intro so much right there. But yeah, of course we actually got some new news. Of course for Duck right here. Um, brand new Duck Hunt teasers. So we have, of course we have the eight-year teasers. We have new events coming, new characters, brand new everything, and I'm glad about it. It's perfect again i'm so excited because i have no idea what's gonna be about i have no idea what's gonna happen so my brain's just like everywhere right now so it's like i have no idea what's gonna happen of course we've got a whole bunch of brand new free to play units new easy is coming up gotta go over them talk about them though because um they were pretty much confirmed for global which i think will be in part one no i think they're in part two no 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 part two i remember part two so i'm not gonna spoil it though i remember the part two easy is of course, we're going to have a card for part two as well. Okay, a lot of stuff coming up for eight year. But I think seven year is still better though. Eight year has a lot. I think it's kind of on that level. Just because the brand new characters and like everything that's new. So it's like, I have one to say, I think seven year is still the best overall though. Because I had the best banners in Doken. These ones, their banners are actually pretty good though. Of course, got to talk about the tickets. Rainbow ticket. Eight regular eight year ticket when you log in. So many tickets. I'm going to talk about that as on a separate video. I was actually gonna try to stream, like do like a little funny secret fun stream, secret stream, but it's also like. Also, I don't. I'm gonna be probably busy doing token videos for a minute though, so because June June was insane. I did I done almost worth of videos. Like I only have a whole like almost two months worth of videos ready to go. So, and shorts too. So that's been insane too. I'm trying to flip back and forth between the shows. So if I sub, if I miss some days. If the video comes out first for that one, so I want to take some priorities first and some priorities last. But some of the stuff on here is crazy. I know it's in there when I'm on my computer because the other day we had like a little internet outage, so that's been going on the last few days. But of course, we got that. We got the new teasers for both um, for ending uh, for Z Spirit Bomb, Z um, GT Spirit Bomb, uh, Z um, Spirit Bomb. I don't know, I can't get a good name for them though. I'll say Z and GT Bros, but it's like we're gonna get more of these guys in the future. I oh, know that's that's one. I say um, I I want to say like Z spare bomb, GT spare bomb, Z zero spare bomb, zero zero spawn. I can't say it. Give it right though. Of course we got the British Shadow Dragon Saga event. Pretty much is a more difficult event, like Red Zone. I believe what was gonna also get like you can um use you can um I think during the anniversary I can't remember which, or I think it just randomly they're like oh yeah Red Zone's gonna be you can use, you can literally do Red Zone as many times as you feel like it. You don't have to worry about three day three day commitment. Um. Pretty much, you don't gotta do it like you know, you know, three times a day. You can just go into it, do whatever you feel like it, which is I love that. I don't think it's gonna be on global for the anniversary, but I think after the anniversary, they're gonna put it in for part three. I can't remember or not. Uh, I don't remember a date for part three though. Um, I did kind of come out late because um, I was working and it was work. Ooh, my really missed on my YouTube channel, but I think I've gone back on track though. Begin. You guys are insane with the content. Like that, the last dope video I did was. It's still growing. I'm like, holy crap, you guys are amazing. But I just did. I'm like, a, I'm like, I probably just uploaded the video. Holy crap! But you guys are insane. Like anniversary for Opal brings up the best in you guys, and I love it. It's crazy. But yeah, uh, again, I didn't expect that video to blow up. That's like my top video right now for the week and month. So thank you guys for that though. Pretty much a more difficult Shadow Dragon Saga event. Shadow Dragon Saga. It's it's red though, pretty much to with Shadow Dragons. More difficult though, because Omega and Sin can definitely again. It's, it's shorter phases, but they do hit a lot harder. They do tank a lot more though. This this is gonna be fun to do on stream. I can do as a video too. Like there's more videos showing off more units and stuff like that, of course. So let's get more content for the channel. Or my little random, we just like throw all my funny movements and just attempts. I'm gonna do. That's a, yeah. That's actually has good content right there. Um, because I, out of the anniversary global, might get another update with the new stages for um. The area, so that guy keeping uh, keep an eye on that. Um, new event, of course, we can get this brand new Hercule, which when he first came out, I was like, this Hercule aren't new, but yeah, this is the event where you get the new Hercule. We're getting a new, um, pretty much new, the Super Warrior M M Memorial, uh, pretty much Goku remembering all his fights and everything. Uh, the first one, of course, I think you get, yeah, Hercule for that stage. The two, two, two different, complete stages, complete different, completely different stages. I think this goes from, yeah, OG Dragon Ball, like the ending of Z. This goes on to like um more of a uh, more like yeah GT like Saiyan Saga I guess I don't know it's kind of weird but yeah of course this one um gets um used pretty much 
pick all your deck and go current face as the event brings that. Oh yeah, Shadow Dragon's all got that. That also brings uh, one of usual Shadow Dragon support memory. They get to be all the stages though. Are they can get a wall pit before it? I can't remember on that. But yeah, yeah, that of course got a new boo pretty much reincarnating. It's pretty much I guess like like, you know, Oob's you know, journey and um everything, like him coming from like, you know, fat boo to like ooh, pretty much. Of course we get a brand new Bobbity, he is gonna be the LR for this year. He's okay, another grid. Again, I think just is a tie between him and because I know it's time by much of Vegeta doesn't do crap. But yeah, I think just honestly Roshi was Roshi I think Roshi just the best one that they ever made because he's still one of my favorite LRs. Okay, of course, we got the dead download, new Goku, Hercule, Bobby. You can go to TUR right now. Yeah, he's not going to go to LR until I think like part two and part three is going to have his easy A. So, of course, we got an easy A for Smoothie Dino and Boo. So, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go ahead and go for Goku. Go go all these units because I'm not talking about them yet. I'm excited though. Of course, let's get started. Of course, Goku does all um, attack defense of 18%. Boo gets to retain. His um, passive does attack defense of 88%. Randomly changes a certain amount. A certain Type of key sphere, no, changes randomly changes key spheres to a certain type of random key spheres for eight turns from the start of turn, plus additional attack defense of 18% per key sphere attained, plus chance of promo crit up to 80% per 80% percent I cannot speak there. <laughs> per key sphere obtained, plus additional attack defense 88 when performing a super attack. The super attack effect is spirit bomb, it's um, spring damage raises the allies attack by 18%. All my chance of performer crit up to 8% for one turn. Again, he's actually really disgusting though, that's really good. His links and categories are his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, All in Family, Experienced Fighters, Saiyan Lineage, Z Fighters, Pure Power for Battle, Categories of Mushroom Boo Saga, Pure Saiyans, Goku Family, Power for Wishes, Power and Trump Card, <laughs> Bond Parent and Child, Bond of Friendship, Turtle School, Earth Better Fighters, Connect to Hope, Accelerate, Accel Accelerated Battle, Accelerated Battle and Battle of Fate. Yeah, he's good. I think he's good. I think he might be the best like logging unit though. I know I said that about Blue Goku, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Goku and Vegeta from last year. I don't know. I actually gotta get like logging up when you to that say ten, I, I like level ten because I never got to it. I don't know. I might do it though. That could be that would be like a little fun like level grinding session right there. But yeah, we're going to Hercule. He does our better fighters key too. He does look like he can get easy. Eh? That's it though. I thought he would be in LR. That'd be kind of cool. But I mean, eh, whatever. I think yeah, supposed to be like his post from like the Cell Saga. He does our better fighters key too. Also at the um. 30%, his passive does defense of 100%, main defense of all enemies, attack defense of minus 20% start of turn, plus additional no, atta yeah, atta attack plus 50%, we'll perform a super attack, key 2, plus additional attack defense of 30% when there's another world tournament category, uh, attacking the same turn or world tournament category enemy. Not bad though, super attack effect rates defense for 1 turn, spread damage, his links are money money money, hero, world, ch world tournament champion, and fighter, tribute to strength. As Gekko's are World Tournament, Earth Better Fighters, and of course Earth Links. I mean, I, I mean, he's not bad though. Like, once he's easy as, I think he's actually really disgusting. I can't remember right now though, but like I said, I want to save those in the future. I don't want to go over him like, you no know, day one, you know, everything. He's on Global, I'm going to go over him for Global right now. I'm going to wait. I hope Bobby does get TUR though. This is TUR? Oh, this is TUR. I mean, don't be I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so he does, um, K2. What does really matter though, anyway, so. So he does key two when he awakens. Uh, attack defense of, oh yeah, key two for inhuman deeds. All sets of 50%. His passive does key two, attack defense of 100%. Main chance of any enemy's attacks. Including super attacks of the enemy's super class, which half the game. Plus additional attack defense of 30% when performing a super attack if, if there's a villain class. Enemy. I guess go though. So if you're a villain, he does two different things. That can be kind of unique and different. Super attack effect raises defense for a turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy, maintains the the seal attack, um, and um, seal super attack. His links are Put a beat down, master of magic, much more revival plan, death for conquest, nightmare, sharing the limit, um, much of boo, saga, terrifying conquest, and enemy deeds. Of course, he links all the yeah, Bobby Day Boo characters. I know he does go into standby Vegeta, which kind of sucks. I mean, that is kind of true. I think he's just a worst standby because I forgot he even existed. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. They don't exist. Ah! But yeah, though. Of course, all the Vegeta. Let's go for the ZGA. Because he's easy ZGA. is insane. So he does, um... Well, actually, I haven't even seen that at all, though. Why well, take over it for part two? I think I might have missed it. That's what it was. Uh, so he does... Wajibu Saga Key 3 all sets at 170. Super attack effect. Immense damage. Allies, um... What is that? Allies attack defense at by 30% for one turn. His passive does damage received by normal attacks minus 80%. Counts with tremendous power. Uh... And defense of 150, which is good. They need that defensive power. Attack plus 20% for each attack received up to max of 120. So then pretty much has to get hit. Defensive factor will kick in because of course the counters and everything. 
Uh, many chances of crit, key one, take defense up, up to max of 3% plus additional defense up 90%, 30% up to max 90%, and grants of a chance to perform a crit of 10%, up to 10%, max of 30. A this character receives that, um, three attacks in battle. Okay, that's actually they're pretty good though. Again, like I said, you gotta get, you kinda gotta get hit with them, but I don't like the Shadow Dragon Saga fan. It's not gonna tank well. I mean, Super Battle Royale is gonna be doing good. And like the easy events. You gotta factor those in too though. But otherwise, I mean, what did he do before? Did I what he did before? Oh no. Oh no, he just, uh, oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm glad they added that though, cause yeah, he just, ooh, that is not good. I mean, they just, you know, increase this and bump this up a little bit, but yeah, that made him insane. That's gonna be really good. Again, he's gonna be critting. Again, I just say go full crit for him. Though for counter units, go full crit. It doesn't matter about dodging. It doesn't matter about you know. You really need to don't worry you need to really worry about dodge because a lot of people are like oh if you dodge you know you do, you can still counter but you want to get hit so you can counter and we do you know crits they do more damage and break that defensive barrier wall so that's gonna be really good for him. Again, a really good counter unit. Very simple. Very easy. I like it. He's amazing. He's great. I love him. Like, dude, he's already perfect. He's got, he's probably gonna be a Vegito Blue. Buffed up that time to a thousand. No, Vegito Blue, man, he's easy as you say. Because on Debut, though, he has lots of him now, so he does. Transformation Boost Key 3. I think he's one of the best ones actually now, so that's insane. So Transformation Boost Key 3, all sets up 170, or, um, or STR types. Extreme STR types, Key 3, all sets up 120. Uh, Super Attack Effect, Greatly Raise Attack of 1 Tournaments Damage. Um, greatly lowers attack defense. Not bad. Uh, his passive key one attack defense at 120 plus additional defense up. Um, boost up by 120. We have pretty much more health you have, less health you have, the better the defensive boost. Even with these units, which I love, these units you guys know I have for last for the last few years. Plus additional attack defense up 60% when, when, when attacking, just when attacking. Um, plus additional defense up 60% within the same turn after receiving an attack. Transforms the conditions are met. Oh, okay, so he does transform to others, his other counterparts. So he wouldn't go to boot glow, his super attack effect now changes to massively raise his defense for one turn. Mince damage. Of course, now um, with um, boot glow, now it's um, covers 20% HP of turn, attack defense at 140, or LS key 3, and defense at 40%, receives the um, damage, receives damage received, reduces damage received by 50% at the first or second attack around the turn, which he Kind of thing he did that before. Plus additional defense up 60% and our allies uh, attack was 40%. And it's just before my crit up to 8% as the third attack on the turn. Not bad, so you can, you know, if you want to defend, you want to reduce your damage to the first slot, first and second slot, but you want to defend and get more attack and crit in the second slot, you can do that. Third slot, you can do that if you want to. Because that slot's always the best mode, but you do have to wait like three turns for the rotation to come back, so you kind of got to worry. Recover 70% HP at the end of the turn for six turns from the start of the turn. Okay, not bad though, not bad. Okay, yeah, they just, okay, they just added this to him though. Otherwise, he's pretty much the same though. Just add some um, extra buffs to him though. That's not bad though, I'm glad they added that. Again, again, he's, he's, he's amazing. Like, I see what he can do. He's insane. Good on the boot, like, um, boot, like, uh, boot tanks. Uh, now his, his super attack effect now is really immense damage, seals super attack, lowers attack and defense, like the other ones did back in the day. But yeah, there was actually SR kind of put for him though. I remember that. Um, he's pretty much copying from him though a little bit. Recovery 10 percent HP, SR of a turn, key one, attack plus 180 and defense of 140, plus a different attack defense of 80% before performing a super attack, and another, the same thing pretty much when target enemies in attack or defense down status, plus additional key one, defense of 80%. It is to perform additional, launching additional attack that uh, for six turns at the start of a turn. Okay, not bad, so he can potentially get more super attacks. He want to keep doing that though. Um, oh, actually no, no. When he attacks, he's gonna be stacking up his um eighty. Yeah, cause he's gonna be a. I guess he's a more of a balance though between the two. I think that was it though. And of course, on the Buhan. I think Bootings was the best one out of all these. So I think. Of course, on the Buhan now his super attack effect greatly raises attack defense up for three turns. Immense damage to enemy. Covers ten percent. Uh, his passive now covers ten percent HP. Again, let's categorize his own hands. So I'm not gonna go over that too much. Recovery 10% HP to start of a turn, key 2 attack defense of 180 plus additional defense up, boost up by 180, 120, the more HP you have, the better boost, etc, etc, um, plus additional attack defense of 80% from performing, and once additional attack, that's high chance of coming a super attack, great chance to guard against all attacks for the like 6 turns, high chance to guard against guard all attacks for 7th, uh, um, I'm sorry, um, high chance to guard against all attacks starting from the 7th turn. 
Yeah, there's so much to this kit. Like, there's so much to, like, these booze now. Like, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Like, the, yeah, I remember him being insane, but I think I have multiple of him on the deck to different transformation turns, so... I think I think people test it out, too, so... Yeah, I go to private service and everything now. I know it's kind of down right now at this point, but it's also, like... Yeah, they can do a lot now, so that's gonna be insane. They do a lot, I like that, though. That's good. A character that was dead, so that's good. But yeah, I like these. The, I like the Boo Easy. That's insane. He's gonna be great for Boo Saga teams. Even though, or just Boo team in general, he's gonna be helping out himself a lot. And I'll ask you at the same time. But also, Super Vegito is just amazing. Bobby just, eh. Um, like, like I said, he's gonna be the easy and stuff like that, though, of course. But that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over today. Not bad for the day I don't, though. We got a lot of new pack stuff in here, though, of course, for the anniversary. So, yeah. See you guys there, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. I'll check again, though. So, I say, say, watch hands up on the bus. All the people are going to pop on toilet paper. You need to get my stuff again. Go outside. Just grab some copy and turn off the door. Go to the store. Here, guys. Awesome. So, look at the game. I was in with, of course. I hate it again. Very simple, very easy, like I said, though. Go, go ahead and let you guys go, though, because I got, um, so all the stuff I need to do today, get the video edited and get it up and everything, of course. But yeah, though, see you guys later, though. See you guys later, though, again, though. What's up? Uh -huh.